Matt Parker is the co-founder of Exodus Road, a non-governmental organization that fights human trafficking by partnering with local law enforcement in some of the worst affected countries in the world. We sat down with Matt to discuss the complexity of human trafficking and an approach that may finally help turn the tide. The global drug trade, for example, we're talking about a consumable product. You know, you traffic drugs into the country, you sell it once, it's consumable and it's gone. Whereas victims of trafficking can be abused multiple times a day, over multiple months, over multiple years, and the profits are huge, uh, which is one of the reasons why it's one of the largest global crimes that exists today. The war on contemporary trafficking has been raging for decades. Even with an increase in global awareness, the number of people in slavery continues to grow. And the gap between estimated people being trafficked and those being helped is alarming. This is a global systemic failure. The complexities uh, of, of this particular crime make it a very difficult crime to combat. And oftentimes, law enforcement around the world are underfunded, understaffed, undertrained, and there's not a lot of specialized units around the world like we may have in the United States or the UK. But that's where you insert a piece of technology. And all of a sudden, what, what seemed to be an overwhelming task is simplified. In 2015, in what would ultimately lead to one of the largest trafficking cases in modern history, Exodus Road in Thailand, working with the environmental conservation and human rights organization Freeland alongside local Thai authorities. A routine traffic check led to the discovery of 98 Rohingya refugees from Myanmar locked in the back of five trucks. The fleeing traffickers left behind several cell phones and the Thai police called Freeland and Exodus Road to help with the case. The data extracted from the phones quickly began to uncover a large syndicate that included the location of multiple jungle prison encampments and mass grave sites. As the investigation quickly advanced, the traffickers began to abandon their other operations, including cargo ships left at sea full of hundreds of stranded and starving Rohingyas. It became an international humanitarian crisis and a clear picture of how extensive and horrific modern trafficking is. So when that case resolved and we understood not only are we arresting those traffickers and we're rescuing hundreds of Rohingya people and kind of dismantling that, it's identifying the corrupt mechanisms that protected it and taking that down as well. I knew we, we had stumbled on something powerful and that if we could shift some of our thinking as an organization, not just to human intelligence, but also adopt digital intelligence, we would be adding something very, very powerful. Exodus Road is now working with law enforcement across several countries in Latin America, training and facilitating the use of digital evidence to effectively fight human trafficking. We come up with a scalable, replicable solution to a complex justice issue, and we mobilize people who do actually care around this concept that freedom is possible if we work together to accomplish that. It's one of the most powerful things I think that I've done in my life is to equip good officers with the tools they need to change the world, starting in their own cultures and their countries.